Welcome to Tiny Rails, the fun little game with a train. And there's my train going past. It would look very colourful, but it appears to be night time, so you don't see it in all its glorious colour. I have been busy for the last couple of days, getting everything where I wanted it to in this game. And this is going to be, hopefully, a busy episode. So, off we go. Okay, let me... Heading into Naples. Right, I'm going to Rome to the Vatican for the story part of this game. Then, once I've been to the Vatican, I am going to... If I can find it, it's down here somewhere. I am going to complete the checklist for South America Center remotely, because I'll still be on the other side of the world. And to complete the checklist, all I need to do is buy one more station, or upgrade one more station, which is going to cost me a million. As you can see, I've got almost 16 million now, because I've spent about two days completing all the cargo requests that were currently outstanding that I could fulfill, which included places like Lima, which wanted... 1,000 green teas, which meant I had to do a lot of circuits around China to pick them up. Also, there was a place that wanted... Was it cricket bats? Yep, 1,000 cricket bats and 1,000 soccer balls, which I had to get from South America Upper, which took even longer to do all the circuits, because whilst there are plenty of them, they normally come in ones or twos at each station. On top of that, I went to all the places that sell building materials and stock my depot up with a ton of building materials and some various other bits and pieces that I just picked up along the way. So I will be ready to unlock, when I unlock South America lower, I will have the building materials available that I need to build whatever stations they want. As I say, I've also got almost 16 million, which is about 11.5 million more than I had when I finished the last episode. And if you consider that's about two days' work, so 5 to 6 million a day is what I'm earning. Or I was earning. So, that's kind of nice, but there's going to be a depot in South America lower, and I don't know if that's going to be enough money to buy it or not. And then... I'm going to stick the new carriages I got in the last episode on the train, because I forgot to do that last time. Okay, here we are at Rome. Here's a guy named Julian. Catalina, it's been far too long. Is it true you're hunting for El Dorado again? Catalina, yes, but this time we have the Book of Gold. Julian, impressive. I had only heard legends about this book. May I? You may. Incredible. You really do have it. It's stunning. Nesta. The codes in it are very complex. Can you translate it? Julian. Hmm. The mask of El Dorado was broken into three pieces and given to three kings of different empires. Looks like one is in Russia, one is in Asia, and the last piece is in South America. According to this line of text, whomever wears the mask will find the golden road to El Dorado. Every time I hear the words El Dorado, I kind of think of the John Wayne film. Catalina, where do we start? Hmm, there's a gala at the Kremlin this week. They have quite an ornate mask collection. I'm certain the mask of El Dorado will be there. Nesta, are we going to break into the Kremlin for a piece of the mask? Lance, oh boy, another heist. Julian, Catalina, you need to know something. Monica came by earlier. I translated a notebook for her. She'll be looking for the Book of Gold too. Catalina, she stole the notebook from me. Thanks for the warning. Julian, I'm going to join you. This book still needs some translations. Besides, I have an invitation to the gala. Catalina, you can be our inside man. We'll need some gadgets to pull this off. Okay. Well, that completes a section of the quest. South America Chapter 1-12 now. Buy Mysterious Mask Cargo from Charlottetown, PE. Okay, that's North America, I'm guessing. Not that I'm going there right now. 
but that's where I need to go. What I am going to do is set my train destination for that port over there so I can take a boat to South America. And off we depart. As I said, next thing I was going to do was head to South America, South America Center, which is this nice green area. Find a station that will cost me a million to upgrade. Any of them will do. That's two million. That's one million. Yeehaw! Now the South America Center progress is ready to collect. Which gets me 50,000, unlock South America lower, a new depot I can buy, and a new factory. So let's collect it. I want a new train, which I will be using shortly. New area unlocked, South America lower. Okay, let me go to the back of the map. Let's go put the map all the way back where I am. Okay, so this is the factory I've unlocked. So what do I need? Copper, iron, steel, and wood I've got. I think I've got whatever that is as well in one of my depot or in, in a depot. So all I've got to do is go collect it and I can go get a new carriage or a new car. And here is South America lower. Okay. And what's its checklist want? It wants me to serve two and a half thousand passengers, travel 62,000 miles, buy or upgrade 60 stations, collect 100,000 gold from cars, meet three market demands, and buy two and a half thousand cargo. Okay. I don't, oh, yeah, there is a buy or upgrade train, and I get a car that looks like a dog. And it unlocks the Caribbean. And the new port, which I'm assuming is the, the Caribbean, Caribbean. Depends where you come from, is how you pronounce that. I tend to go with Caribbean. Probably because that's how I learned it as a, as a child. Right. So, once I've got my train moving again. I say once I've got my train moving. I don't want anything from Monaco, at least I don't think I do. I don't know what cargo demands I'm actually going to have. I'm going to edit my train. Because first things first, I got a new engine. And a new caboose. So let's put those on the train. So let's go look at the trainery and see what those actually do. Assuming I can find them in the trainery. Yes, I currently have 33 out of Apostle 29 found. That is a bug that has been reported and is going to be fixed by Tiny Titan Studios. I'm not the only one that's noticed this. And apparently, the engine and caboose I've just picked up are not in my trainery. So I don't know exactly what they do. I'll let it clear the wonderful cow out of the way. Looks like it's made of Lego, to be honest doesn't tell me what it what it does this train but okay and I did say I was also going to put on these new cars that I got last time so let me go find the cars here's the first one well let me put the train back to where it was yes so I'm going to swap out these four cars starting with the wonderful that thing right, I've got a big snake on the front of my train now see if I can find the okay good that's just got back to the front of the train that's one car that I got last time I think it's a to go car and here are the other two they can replace the coal carriages straight in and out of Barcelona. So, does this train collect money? It does. Okay, the Biggie Snake Car. It's going to cost me 5,000 to... Well, require 5,000 to drain it. That's just a passenger car. That's a cargo car. And that's a cargo car. Okay. Well, it's four different cars. The Biggie Snake Car. It's kind of weird, actually. I will 
go back to the wonderful edit. Yes, the camel car, which is currently not on my train, and the biggie cargo car, if I can find it, that one, are in purple. I don't know why they're so special. There may be others that are like this. What's this? Something plus five facilities when equipped in South America. Good to know. But I just thought it'd be nice to have a snake on the car. On the car, on the train. And we'll, when it upgrades, we'll see what it changes to. Oh, looks like my train needs a bit of cleaning and a bit of TLC. Okay, I'd like to go in and out of Madrid, please, so I can go back to the map in South America. map. Let me find South America again. Here it is. Right. Supposedly, I got there's a depot down here. It's only going to cost me three and three and a half million, approximately. I was expecting it to be a lot more expensive than that. Oh, and okay. I saw this train line going out to the sea, but it comes back in again. I thought there might be a way around to Oceania or something. But now there's a couple of islands hanging off South America. Well, definitely buying the depot. And now... I will buy this station, as, as it's cheap. What's that one? That one's polo mallets. I stored a load of those, just in case I needed them. Also, this wonderful resource, the bluish-looking one. And the one below it, the guava, I think that is. A two I know I need for various places I've already unlocked. And as is the woven rug and the chai tea. Oh, there's a sunflower. The pink salt. And the sun I don't know if I need the sunflower. Unless I need it in South America. And cashews. There's quite a few resources down here that I need for other parts of the world. Okay, and the train line's a bit more expensive down here, but... This one wants pizza. Well, I'm going to buy it because it's relatively cheap and fully upgrade it. Because that allows me to build yet another bit of track. Yeah, I do have... I think I went and collected enough of each type of resource, whether it be lumber or aluminium beams, to at least build ten stations of each type that needs it. So I shouldn't run out of resources during my time in South America... I may run out of resources during my time in the Caribbean. I may have to go on another resource hunt. I'm on our way to Tangier now. As I take the map back down to South America. How expensive this station. So I was expecting the depot to cost a lot more, which I thought would take up most of my money. Which means... That I can spend the money on upgrading stations I haven't already upgraded. Which is quite a few currently. Or I can save it for unlocking the Caribbean because if I'm smart, I should be able to get through South America lower relatively at a relatively reasonable pace. Now this is going to be a bit more expensive, this station, so we'll only half upgrade that one. Same with that one. Because you do tend to go through money rather fast when you buy and upgrade stations. Especially when they cost 50,000 for the first part and a half a million for the second. Whereas the ones that cost 5,000, then 50,000, then 100,000, I'm quite happy to pay the money for. Okay, I can't connect that bit of track. Can I connect that bit of track? Nope. I'm coming into Tangier, so... I'll have to go back to the train in a second. But on the plus side... I'm doing quite well for buying stations. And upgrading them. Oh, this one's real, real cheap. So that's quite a few stations already purchased now in... South America Lower. Oh, that's a bit of track I should be able to buy. So I've got to come down here and start constructing a load of these stations which is not a big deal 
And also I need to go to one of my depots, pick up the resources I need out of the depot for this factory, so I can get that car. Out of Tangier, please. So what I am going to do is take the boat boat out of the Africa West port. I'll come into the South America upper port, head to this depot, head over to this factory, pick up the car, and then head down here and construct, or head, probably head back to the depot, pick up a load of materials and start constructing a load of these stations so I can get to this depot which will allow me to construct a load more stations and hopefully complete most of South America lower. That is my plan anyway. Won't all happen this episode. Trust me. I'm going to take the boat across and probably start getting the stuff out of the depot. Well, I'm going to I'll get to South America this episode and I may just go to the depot on my own time get the stuff I need and in the next episode I'll show picking up the car and constructing some more stations which does remind me as I say my depot is full of stuff including more than 250 aluminium beams 250 lumber etc it looks like I need meatballs that's one thing that I've got on my train that looks like I need this rest of the stuff that's on my train is just stuff that I picked up along the way I need, okay, I need some more of that stuff, which I find in South America. Polo mallets I already knew about. Okay, I don't need the zinc. I thought I might need more zinc. I thought I might need more of that. Oh, it's an alpaca doll, which is in my depot, which I need to buy that train carriage. I don't need any more green tea, cricket bats, papaya I need. Not sugar cane, not cassava. Turkey. This is why I just clipped a load of stuff which I picked up from obstructions just in case I might need it as I don't I will pretty much sell it all okay so I'll at the wonderful port South America upper it's one day away and seven and a half thousand so Connect that to my depot. And there's going to be a couple of stops along the way before I get to my depot. So if I can remember what it is I might need. I will pick up some of whatever that was as well. Yes, of course, when you put level one cars on your train, they get dirty a lot faster and they demand cleaning more often so that's going to cost 500 experience points 500 experience points and 500 experience points okay so what did I see that it said it needed none of the stuff that's there strangely enough it might need some of this stuff at some point but for the moment I don't know that so I am going to have to spend some time figuring out what resources it needs in South America lower that aren't currently visible because the stations haven't been built and where to get it from for example the meatballs I'm going to have to go back to Europe to pick up a load of meatballs Europe South in particular I think it was even though there might be some in South America lower already I know there's quite a lot in Europe South But I'm kind of amazed that that depot was that cheap. I was expecting to have to pay 14 or 16 million for it. So that surprised me. Well, one other thing I will mention. In the last episode I showed and discussed... Okay, that's not good. The train hung. Um... I showed and discussed the fact that you could sell duplicate cars. Well, I had 20 pages of cars. I'm now down to 14. I sold 
probably 40, 50 odd cars, which were duplicates. And the cheapest I got was, I had 200 from selling one of them. And I think the most I got from selling one car was almost 25,000. The prices vary within that range. So, depending on the cars, I don't know if the level of the car makes a difference to the price you earn. But I think it was the Old West food cars. I was getting 200 apiece. The taco cars may have been 800 apiece. I had about seven taco cars. So I got rid of half a dozen of those. And you can work it out manually. Or you can go to your trainery. And it tells you how many of each type you own. So for example... I currently own two Apple cars, however, those Apple cars are currently on my train. And they're actually both level 3 on my train. There are things like the modern outhouse, oh there's the old west outhouse. There are a whole bunch of cars I still have duplicates of. I've got, down, 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 I've got it down to one taco car, which is kind of nice. I've kept at least one, one of each car type that I already had. I don't know if you can sell the last car type. I didn't try because I don't want to. I do know I need those. And I need the turkey. Okay, let me buy that stuff. So it is kind of nice to be able to look at my list of carriages and be able to find the ones I'm actually looking for now. Okay, that's what I was looking for. So I need 30 copper, uh, 60 iron, 50 steel, 60 wood, and 20 alpaca dolls. Okay, that's some of the stuff I will load up on once I get to my depot but that's not exactly going to be exciting so this is where I'm going to end this episode I have a new engine I have four new cars on my train or I say new four different cars on my train one of which is entirely new to me and a whole new area to work on so that is what I will be doing in the next episode as always, I hope you enjoyed or found it interesting or you saw something you haven't seen before. And hopefully I'll see you down the track for more of Tiny Rails in the near future. Cheerio!